Hi, I'm Rick Dior, and this is my spring drumstick update of 2023. So I have some new models, and I have some woods back in stock that I haven't had in a little bit uh, of time. So we're going to talk about that today. We're going to talk about some new tips, and we'll talk a little about this particular drum right here. So uh, around Christmas time, I guess the last one I did uh, was maybe September or October or November, I got to look, but I got some Coco Bola Rosewood and some Purple Heart, which you just heard me play with, and then I ran out. I sold out of those uh, around Christmas pretty quickly, and then I had to try to get some more, which was difficult. So uh, I sold out after I did that video in about two weeks, and um, I basically, you know, these kinds of woods, they're not easy to find, especially really good quality heartwood, which is what I make my sticks out of. So I had to shop around and I found another source and I managed to get quite a bit of Coca Bola Rosewood this time, as well as a lot of Purple Heart and also Black Wenge. I got some old stock of this because this is now on the sites list, so I don't buy this anymore. Um, but I did find some old stock that had already been in storage for several years. Uh, so when you buy wood like this, you always have to be concerned about the sites list, which is basically an endangered species list for wood, if you want to think it, of it like that. It's the flora, uh, like animals have endangered species. Wood and plants have it too, as the environments are encroached on and the trees are cut for development. Those woods become scarce. And the same thing happened with Honduras rosewood a while back. You know, all the marimbas used to be made out of that. And then that went on the list, and it's now illegal to use Honduras rosewood, which I do not do that. Uh, but Coca Bola rosewood is still available from uh, countries like Mexico and Nicaragua and uh, Costa Rica, some, some of it. Um, so uh, it, you can still source it. It's going to be eventually on the sites list. And the wood I buy is older, so I try not to contribute to that problem. But, uh, but it is what it is, and uh, I know I've gotten some emails from you asking about this, and I definitely try not to, or I do not use any wood that's on the sites list that I haven't had for a long time. So this will be my last batch of Coca Bolo and Black Wenge. Purple Heart's fine, there's plenty of that. There's plenty of persimmon, plenty of pecan, yellow heart, maple, obviously, hickory, uh, leopard wood, is doing okay as well. So, uh, but the Coca Bolo and the uh, Black Wenge, eventually, once I'm done with this batch, that's it, because I'm not going to contribute to the uh, the loss of, of that species, okay? But while I have it, it makes a beautiful stick. It's very heavy. So this all here is Coca Bolo. You can see the figured wood here. And um, it's just beautiful. <clears throat> so, I've really never had a wood that makes a stick like this. So hopefully you can see the, the figure here. Now some of it's pretty dark and pretty plain and boring. And I do use that, but I try to use the figured stuff, as you see there. No two sticks are alike. They all have their own personality. Uh, it's difficult to match them up because it is a very melodious wood. It's like a rosewood bar, basically, uh, for marimba. So uh, they'll ring a little uh, when you play on a pad. I'll grab a pad. And that's how you know you're using a relaxed grip. If they ring, then uh, you know, you're not grabbing the stick. You're not muffling it. Now this particular stick is my large barrel tip. If you can't see it in this camera, I'll pop it on the screen. So this is uh, a large barrel. I also make a medium barrel and a small barrel. So there's three of those. And then the other tip that's new is this acorn tip that you see here. And I really like this tip. I started making it uh, maybe a couple months ago, 
and we'll show you a close-up of that. And it's a large kind of teardrop, but it resembles an, ac an acorn when you look at an acorn upside down. It's got a lot of weight to it. This pad is bouncing up and down a little. Sorry about that. And this particular pair of sticks is 95 grams. Incredibly heavy. It's my warm-up stick. So uh, the Coca Bowl is going to range most likely from the very high 70s, 78 grams, all the way into the 100 gram range, which is uh, too heavy for most people. So that's the heaviest option I carry now are these heavy Coca Bowl sticks. Great warm-up. It's a great rudimental stick. Might be a little heavy for a concert stick for some of you. And then, of course, I have my reverse tip sticks. And you see that here. I've showed you this before. And these are great warm-up sticks as well. They're also great sticks for learning to bounce. So it's a, got a lot of weight on the top, but it feels a little different than the acorn. Uh, it's a little more bouncy, I would say. All right. And then, of course, we have the barrel tip stick. And by the way, these are 99 grams, these uh, reverse tips here. So this is my standard barrel tip. Uh, oh, actually, um, yeah, large tip stick, which I showed you already. Okay, now I also made a new sleeve. Some of you were asking me about this. So uh, you said the sleeves were a little loose. So I redesigned the sleeve, mass produced them, and I have a new label that has the weight of the stick, the type of tip, the length, and the diameter. Most of the di diameters of my sticks are going to be about 11 sixteenths, 5 eighths to 11 sixteenths. Every once in a while, I'll make a three-quarter inch stick for someone. Uh, but that's, that's pretty much what I stick with, pun intended. All right, and then I am making this leopard wood reverse tip as well, still. And this is a great concert stick. I'll uh, play on this snare drum here. Great for rolls. Outstanding for that. Okay. These are not going to be heavy. These are going to be about 72 to 75 grams, mostly. So this is a great weight for a concert stick. And of course, I'm still making these in the small barrel tip, as you see here. And again, a really good concert stick. So a lot of uh, orchestral drummers have been buying these from me. All right. And then, as always, or, well, now back in stock, we have the reverse tip black wenge, which I've been using a lot for these Joseph Tompkins videos I've been putting out. These are going to be around 70 to 80 grams, and it's just such a beautiful wood. I mean, the cameras will not do it justice. Just have to see them. So this is great for both concert and rudimental work. All the woods feel a little bit different. All right. Some of you ask me if they vibrate. Uh, I. I try not to get any of my sticks to vibrate. The ones that do vibrate when I make them, they become display sticks. 
which I sell half price. So if any of you want display sticks, you know, one of them might be um, pitched a little different or they might vibrate a little. I don't sell those as professional sticks, but I do sell them for display. You can give them as gifts or whatever. I can engrave them. But um, they won't vibrate like um, other sticks made out of these hardwoods. It's all about the ratio from the tip to the taper to the length to the weight. That's where vibration will come in. If those are wrong, uh, I've experimented for years and years and I have all kinds of notes and you know hundreds and hundreds of uh, sticks that I've made that I haven't sold uh, just to experiment with. So that's how I do it. And then uh, Purple Heart, once again, that is back in stock. I'm going to start making sticks. I just about caught up with all my other orders. Thank you all for being patient with that. Um, so these are great uh, sticks. The old Purple Heart I had a long time ago was not good Purple Heart. Of course, I didn't know that until I got some good Purple Heart that was heartwood. And this uh, does not vibrate at all. It's fantastic. And these are heavier. They're like 70... Uh, two or three grams all the way up to 90 grams. So these are the barrel tip version and I also have the reverse tip version which is going to be heavier. And you see me playing some of those Tompkins etudes with these. Now this drum I'm playing on is one of my favorite concert drums. It's a Pearl Special Edition drum uh, from maybe 10 or 15 years ago. Uh, but the head is wonderful. It's a goatskin head that my friend Erwin Falk sent me. He plays timpani with the Vienna Philharmonic. He was kind enough to send me one of these heads. This head is great. And it's a little di different than a calfskin head. It's closer to the kangaroo heads that you might get. Somewhere in between a calf head and a kangaroo head. A little thicker and it can take a beating, literally. So. And on field drum, these heavier reverse tips sound amazing. So the more weight you have when you're playing a bigger drum, the better. You get more depth out of it. Uh, I'll show you the difference. I'll play with a lighter pair. Uh, these are Yellow Heart, another wood that I have back in stock that I really love, but they're lighter. So you'll hear the difference right away. And then back to these. So that's the heavier stick. I'm sure you hear the thickness and the depth. All right. Yellow Heart is a great stick, but it's going to be lighter. So I make these in reverse and barrel tips, and I may do some acorn tips as well. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice tip for light work. So if you like stuff uh, in the mid-60s to the low 70s, this is a good stick for you. And I sell them a little bit cheaper. All right. And then also I still have pecan. So this is a great wood. For sticks, it's a little bit more attractive than hickory and feels, to me, a little bit better, although I love hickory sticks. but uh, And this stuff isn't as expensive as well because it's plentiful. It's easy to get. And this has a huge weight range, anywhere from 65 all the way up to 90 grams. So uh, you see here, it's very pretty. You see the grain there, okay? Now, uh, some of the inspiration for those acorn tips came from this old pair of Vic Firth SD3 Thunder Rock sticks, which I had these since I was a kid in the uh, early 70s playing. There's the tip. 
And I really like this tip. Although they have a little bit of vibration. So what I did was I redesigned the stick and I did a pair in black wenge and made the taper a little bit thicker. As you see there, that's the taper. And the tip is a tiny bit smaller, just a tiny bit smaller. And the shaft is, a, is exactly the same, 11 sixteenths, all right? And voila, vibration gone, all right? So this is a really, really nice stick now. Not too heavy. It's great for playing soft because you get a big sound, even though you're playing soft. And great for rolls. So that's a new tip, like I said before, that I'm making. All right. Let's see if we got anything else here that's new. That's pretty much it. I'm still making persimmon sticks. Oh, here's a set of persimmon sticks with that same tip. So that's the round tip from the SD3. You see the similarity there. And again, the taper is a little bit thicker, so there's no vibration, okay? All right, and finally, I have my drum set sticks here, and I have plenty of stock of these, and these are the hickory version, so. So these are going to run around 65 grams, and this is what I use for playing heavier music on the drum set, rock, funk, things like that. And I also have them in maple, and these are a little bit lighter, and they're about 55 grams. Okay, so there's lots of information on these on my website, which is rickdior.com backslash sticks. And you want to check those out on there. And also, whenever you hear me playing drum set on this channel, it's going to be either the maple version of these sticks or the hickory version of these sticks. And I have plenty of these in stock. So um, I'm glad I was able to do this video for you today because I won't be able to do another one for quite a while. I just wanted to let you know what's in stock, what's not in stock. And I should have enough Cocobolo to last me for maybe a couple years, and then that'll be done. Uh, Black Wenge, the same thing. Purple Heart, the same thing. Uh, Leopard Wood's going to be running low soon, and no more Zebra Wood. I wasn't able to find any good zebra wood yet. I'm still looking. Uh, that's That stuff's tricky because it's a very wide grain wood and it's got to be right. Otherwise, the stick it makes is terrible. But heartwood's hard to find in that wood. But I'm looking. And I think that's pretty much it. So thank you all for your patronage, as always. And just shoot me any questions that you have about the sticks. And hopefully... These, this uh, video answered some, but also I have several videos uh, on this channel. I also have a playlist about my sticks that has lots of videos. That should answer most of your questions, but feel free to email me if you have questions about these. So we'll see you soon. Thanks.